Stephen D. Levitt, Super Freakonomics, Global Cooling, Patriotic Prostitutes, and Why Suicide Bombers Should Buy Life Insurance. Welcome to the engaging and provocative world of a Super Freakonomics, where authors Stephen D. Levitt and Stephen J. Dubner uncover hidden truths behind complex human behaviors. In this summary, you'll encounter surprising stories, fascinating statistics, and bold new ideas that reshape conventional thinking. Learn how economists analyze the world around them, discover the unexpected links between prostitution and the economy, and delve into terrorism prevention through the power of data. As we venture into these varied subjects, each one shines a light on the importance of innovative thinking and considering issues from new perspectives. Getting into people's heads with statistics. Incentive schemes created to change behaviors rarely work as intended due to unforeseen consequences. However, by using statistics, we can predict people's reactions and gain insight into their behavior. This book explores fascinating stories gathered by the authors to highlight the importance of statistics in understanding human actions. For instance, the introduction of volume-based trash pickup fees was supposed to encourage waste reduction. Instead, people found ways to avoid the fee, such as flushing uneaten food down the toilet, increasing the rat population. The chapter suggests that collecting and analyzing data can help governments and public bodies predict people's reactions to incentives, ultimately leading to more successful behavior change campaigns. Economic Thinking for Innovative Solutions this book challenges the misconception that economic thinking is solely focused on profit maximization. Rather, it involves analyzing the world using solid data to make objective assumptions. By doing so, economists avoid typical biases and misinformation that contribute to crises. The author argues that applying this approach to societal problems leads to innovative, long-lasting solutions. Using examples such as The Summer of the Shark and The Challenge of Horse Manure, the book demonstrates how thinking like an economist can yield breakthrough inventions. The Economics of Sex Work Prostitution has always been dominated by women, and a hundred years ago, it paid far better than it does today. With the liberalization of society, men are less interested in paying for sex, leading to higher supply than demand. Sex workers adjust their prices based on their perceived demand and are quick to offer their services during short-term events where demand increases. Detecting terrorists using data analysis. Terrorism is a constant threat, but data analysis can help identify potential terrorists before they act. Contrary to popular belief, they are often well-educated and from affluent backgrounds, motivated by political goals rather than personal gain. Traditional anti-terror measures are inefficient, but an algorithm analyzing banking details can identify potential suspects by distinguishing positive and negative indicators. Positive indicators, such as renting and being a student, are common characteristics among terrorists, while negative indicators, such as investing in life insurance, are atypical. Although not perfect, this algorithm offers a valuable tool for detecting suspects who might otherwise go unnoticed. Altruism or Apathy In this book summary, we delve into the phenomenon of bystander apathy that came into the limelight through the Kitty Genovese case in 1964 and how society's view on altruism changed over two decades. The author also discusses the Dictator Game, an experiment that aimed to measure a person's willingness to divide their money with a stranger, providing insights into society's views on altruism and how experimental economist John List adapted the game to test people's altruistic tendencies. Surprisingly, only 6% gave away the money while 66% took it for themselves, challenging the myth of the kind and generous human. The Power of Data in Problem Solving In this book, the author highlights the importance of gathering data to objectively evaluate and solve stubborn problems. He uses examples such as Ignat Semmelweis' discovery of the importance of handwashing in saving lives and Henry Ford's use of crash data to make driving safer. By gathering and analyzing data, experts can uncover problems that were not visible and create innovative solutions to save lives and improve systems. 
The book shows how data can be used to solve a range of complex problems and make the world a safer place. Global Warming and Our Inability to Act The complexities of global warming prevent objective public debate on the topic. Our misconceptions and inability to accurately grasp the severity of the issue and the factors that drive it mean we lack the proper incentives to change our behaviors. Additionally, negative externalities make it difficult for individuals to truly feel responsible for the impact of their actions. Geoengineering, an ingenious solution to reverse global warming. Investing money to avert a future problem seems unattractive as a fast solution might appear in the future. However, intervening in the global climate system through geoengineering could be a cheap and fast solution to reverse global warming. In 1992, a report revealed that pumping 100,000 tons of sulfur dioxide each year in the atmosphere would reduce warming and cool down the planet. This method, called Budiko's blanket, named after a climatologist, would create a haze cover in the atmosphere and would be cheap, easy, and reversible. We only need to use a hose-shaped device to pump existing power plant's emissions into the stratosphere. Despite seeming strange to fight pollution with more pollution, data suggests that this method could work. Importantly, it would cost $250 million, which is $50 million less than what Al Gore's foundation spends each year on increasing public awareness alone. In conclusion, Superfreakonomics is a revealing exploration of human behavior and the power of innovative thinking. The book dares to tackle topics like prostitution, terrorism, and global warming with fresh ideas and critical thinking, proving that conventional wisdom can often be defied. From the law of unintended consequences to looking at the world through the eyes of an economist, Stephen D. Levitt and Stephen J. Dubner challenge societal norms. Ultimately, the authors encourage us to analyze difficult problems from new angles and to make data-driven decisions to understand the world in a more objective light. Be prepared to question everything you thought you knew and get ready to embrace a whole new way of thinking.